Today, we invite you to join the Hawes team on what we call the North Loop Patrol. That's an area up in the forest of the eastern slopes we call James Wilson, which is about 20 miles north of the Williams Creek area that we normally do our patrols in. On the way, however, we catch a glimpse of the bands in the bog. These horses are generally very nervous when they hear Sparky. I'm actually quite surprised that on this day, I'm getting this close to them. The ones at the top of the screen in the center are the first to move. I see there's a colt in there. Once they start moving, all of the horses pay attention. But this is as close as I've ever been able to get to them. And now these guys are getting a bit nervous. And they're going to retreat to their normal area of protection back in the trees. Now I want you to watch this band on the right. You see that stallion? He's looking down into the bog there a bit. He has some competition coming up. Look at this. This black stallion seems to be trying to get into this band. Probably trying to steal these three mares. So this bay stallion, he poops on the stud pile to claim his girls. And then this black with four white socks tries to develop a strategy to get in there and get those mares. He sounds off right now with a big whinny. But this bay stallion, the band stallion, he's going to have none of it. The black, he will approach from several different angles, trying to catch the bay off guard. This is absolutely normal behavior between stallions. So now the black ties up with the bachelor band that he's been hanging out with on the far right. And the band stallion comes back to his girls. So now join us folks as we head back into the backcountry on the eastern slopes. We work our way through these trails for nearly 20 miles up to an area called the James Wilson. And on the way we're looking for evidence of horse activity. Just like you see here, all these tracks indicate that horses have been here. But these tracks are about 48 hours old. So we stop and we have our lunch in our traditional lunch place. And these are just some of the folks that belong to the Hawes team. Now we're working our way ahead. We're getting closer to the James Wilson. There's been horses up here. And we're looking for horses that are making these tracks. I might actually spot these guys. behind the tree, right? Mm -hmm. We are just so excited to find this stallion. 
He is absolutely one of the nicest looking stallions that I've seen. That beautiful combed out long mane and that very long tail. I've never seen a tail this long on a wild horse. We did spot other horses in the same area, but they were so quick and wild and out of camera range before we could even get the camera out. These horses up on this end see very few people, if ever. So they're not quite sure what they're getting into. Now there's an interesting picture. Barb gets me taking a picture of a picture. <laughs> So we motor on and we uh, are about a mile and a half from the top of our outlook. Frank is in the lead with his wife Suzanne and we have to climb that hill. But first we have to go through the bog at the bottom and then when we get to the top we have to go down the other side. Notice that Frank actually starts sliding down the hill here. It's pretty slippery under all that snow. And that is going to be quite a climb to get up there without tire chains. And that's of course part of our adventure. Do we make it or don't we? And just as Frank turns around here, he gets stuck. So we pull him out and now he's going to try a different approach to get across this little drainage. There's one spot here we always get stuck in. And of course Frank did. He got stuck in the same old hole. We found a different way across. And he's stuck so bad it takes actually Jim and myself to pull him out. And that's the great part about having more than one machine. So here's the tracks up to the top of the outlook. After we got out of the bog, we came up to the top of the hill. And that's where we have to go next, that trail all the way along. That's what we call a seismic line. That was put in by the oil and gas exploration companies. And that's Usually the way we get through the backcountry and through the bush is on these seismic lines. So folks, if we run across a horse stuck in a bog or an injured animal or whatever, there's no calling the fire department. There's no calling for a tractor. You can see the kind of country we're in. And this is wild horse country, folks. And again, this is about 20 miles north of the Williams Creek area that we generally patrol. We call this our North Loop. Barb has the binoculars out and she has just spotted six horses across on the far ridge, but that's two and a half kilometers away. I don't even bother going over with Sparky there because these horses are so wild up here. Probably when I get within 500 yards of them, they start to run, and I have really no desire to get those horses running today. I fly over them with the airplane from time to time, and they're fine with that. This part of the video is just to show you the kind of country that we're in. The eastern slopes of the Rocky Mountains are almost a mini set of mountains on their own. As you can see, we're right on the top of this one hill, which always gives us a good outlook to spot horses. We did spot about 25 this day, and six of them were way across on that far ridge. But they are spread out and scattered quite a far. And there's a, another video by Hawes, folks. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one.